A connection to law enforcement for the community, by the community. Since its creation in 2021, District Attorney Larry Krasner's LGBTQ Advisory Board has looked to grow trust between members of the queer community and law enforcement. Because law is hanging at the balance. You know, someone who has experienced a hate crime myself, I know the dangers of how hate can impact your life and turn your life upside down. Advisory Board member Kendall Stevens survived an attack in her South Philadelphia home back in 2020. She considers herself lucky to be alive. In the last 10 years, 10 trans women of color have been killed in Philadelphia. I don't want anyone to have to go through what I went through, but I'm lucky to be alive. So many of us who become victims of hate crimes often never become survivors. Many of these attacks are domestic and start off with other kinds of violence, which is why the DA's office wants to make it easier for people to speak up. That's how we get them to report crimes. That's how we get them to be witnesses. That's how we get them to come forward. That's how we get them to participate in every way. So it builds trust. And while there are laws protecting LGBTQ people against hate crimes in Philly, there isn't any legislation banning gay panic as a defense or protecting against discrimination for LGBTQ folks statewide. We shouldn't have a paradigm in which somebody can get married on Friday and then fired from their job on Monday simply for putting up a picture of the person that they love best. State Representative Malcolm Kenyatta working alongside other lawmakers to change that. This year, for the first time ever, the Pennsylvania House passed a bill broadening LGBTQ protections. House Bill 300, known as the Fairness Act, would amend the state's existing anti-discrimination law to make it illegal to discriminate against LGBTQ people in housing, workplaces, and public services. That bill now headed to the Republican-controlled Senate where it faces an uphill battle. Still, Kenyatta says lawmakers aren't stopping there. The Equality Caucus is working on dozens of bills, including some focused on hate crimes. What we're fighting for right now is something we deserve to have all along. Basic fundamental protections, um, and then knowing that if somebody commits uh, an odious act of violence, that they're held accountable for that to the fullest extent of the law. So that whether you're straight, gay, bi, or trans, your protections don't end when you leave Philadelphia. Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News.